Hi guys, this is Sandy from Messy Paper Crafts and welcome to today's episode of What's in this box? And I have to tell you, today I have something really cool for you because that's something you don't see in the US every day because this brand is from France. So let's see what's inside my box. And it's a brand called Chew and Flowers. I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly. It might be Chow and Flowers. However, what I do know is that this brand, oh my God, this is absolutely stunning. It's a more whimsical look, I would say, than what you usually find in the US. It's a bit more journaling and in general, it has a very elegant and chic look. So it's very intriguing how it is so different to a lot of other brands. I mean, I love all the brands from my website because I'm a crafter myself and I love to have all this variety. However, when I saw this, I thought, wow, this is very different. And yeah, let's find out if you agree with me. So let's get it out. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of different styles going on here. And what I love about this brand is that they already include their idea or how you could use their stamps or paper for your project. So I kind of think it's great when a brand includes images on their packaging, because especially if you're still a little bit of a newbie in crafting, it's oftentimes not so easy to just look at the stamp and think, okay, um, what am I going to do with this? How do I color it? How do I layer it onto my projects and so on? So I find it really helpful when the brand comes up with their kind of coloring already. And it helps you to imagine this really whimsical and nostalgic flair that this brand Chow or Chu and Flowers has. And I think it's very, very interesting. So let's go through this quickly so you get a good overview of all these different options that we have here. And let's start with this um, theme that they have going on here, which is called Little Circus. And here you have the stamp, which I think is adorable, super, super cute. But they also have another one. So they have also this stamp here, which is also in the line of the circus or little circus. And I, I, I think it's adorable. This image is so cute. And here you see the stamp from how it would be. So it's this kind of rubber stamp on the side here. And it's a cling stamp. So you just put this onto your acrylic block or your misty or whatever. But I love it that it's already in this detail here for you. It gives you a great inspiration on how you might want to color it. And it has this really cool distressed or stained background here. And I think that's great because sometimes we are maybe a little bit too over-concerned on how everything should fit together. But sometimes if you have a great stamp and just a little bit of a distressed background, then that's all you need. And it would make a really cool birthday card or you know, somebody who needs maybe a little bit inspiration or motivation in their life because it comes with these phrases here like imagine, hope, love, chase your dreams, uh, live your passion, believe. So really, really beautiful. I just love this. So in the same line of the circus, let's put them to the side so we're not getting confused on what we just talked about. We also have paper. And I have to say, it's not often that I'm speechless when it comes to paper, because in my job, you see paper a lot. And as I said, I love all these different brands. I mean, it's just fantastic what everybody comes out with. However, this is something I was blown away because I don't see paper like this every day. And I had to open this already for you. <laughs> so you have different sizes here. So you have this big size, A4, and then also if you want a smaller version that gives you just a little bit more of a 
tag and um, smaller images, so to speak. And they work nicely together, but they're a little bit different. However, I opened already the big one because I had to see it. Because similar to you, probably, I often look at websites when I try to make my decision on what to order. And it's not 100% clear. I mean, Chow and or Chu and Flowers, they are really, really good with all the information they have on their website. So don't get me wrong. It's not against the companies. But as you probably know, sometimes you're still kind of surprised when you see what you ordered. So here I just didn't really understand what these different papers meant. So it's uh, in French as well. It's also in English, I think, on the website. However, here it just says six papier imprimé format and some craft and some blanc. So I understood the craft and blanc. So blanc is white and craft is craft. So <laughs> that makes sense. But they also have this vellum and it's just fantastic. So let's go through this so you know what I'm talking about. So little circus in the same style, you could also get a paper that's called Cyclique or Fil de Saison. Probably you say this badly because my French is a little rusty. And you can also get the smaller versions once again in A5. However, here I prepared the A4 for you. So little circus, let's start with that. So first of all, you get this white paper, which is really cool for like backgrounds. And it's very thick. And I don't know if you can hear this. It has like a great texture on it as well. So I really love this paper. It feels like a high quality, almost a little bit, not glossy, but kind of like it has something on it. It just feels really good when you have it in your hands. It's high quality, really good. So this is on the back, these little stems. Then you have this one and this on the back. Here, a really cool one with just some written texture or some scribbles and flowers. This one I really think is amazing. And we have this stamp that has these, it's kind of like a border stamp. You will see this in a little bit as well. So you could potentially make this paper, but there is something about this paper. It just feels amazing. And here, actually, it has something to do with Christmas. However, you can use it for Christmas if you are into um, making Christmas cards all year round, then this could be for you. Or not for Christmas, because I don't think it's Christmas Christmas. <laughs> so it has Christmas on it, but could be used for anything else. So it's not overly um, Christmassy once again. Here again, kind of Christmassy, I suppose, with these little guys here, like cookies, I would say. But I think it's so cute. I have to show this closer. You can see this. Like this little gingerbread man. I think that's what that is. It's just adorable. So it could be Christmassy or not. Here again, the same. Oh, didn't show you the side here. Pretty cool. And now we go to the craft paper and there again uh, the same what I've just shown you before, like the same motif. Probably a tiny bit thinner than the white one. Yeah, maybe, but nevertheless, it feels really good. And then this one. And now we come to the one that I didn't quite understand what I was um, opening up here. So this is like a vellum, so it's see-through, as you can see, but it's just amazing. I don't know, it's something about this vellum that gives this whole package this kind of cheek and also whim whimsical at the same time. And here again, it has this really cool like motive on it. These like again for Christmas, but doesn't have to be for Christmas, but could be if you needed something. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Like so cool. I did not expect vellum to go with all of this, but that's the great thing about shoe and flowers. They have fantastic designs. And here you get these dots. I hope you can see that. One sheet that's with notes. And then this one. 
And there is just something very elegant about this. Yeah, when you go into a store and you just see these really cheek and elegant cards or, you know, like homemade crafts and they just somehow speak to you. I just thought it's stunning. So maybe you agree, maybe not, or maybe you don't want this kind of slightly Christmas paper. Then I have another option for you. And that's this one, which is called Cyclique. And it's uh, similar that it has these different papers in here. Not as many, but a great variety here as well. So here you have, again, these craft sheets with flowers. And this one. And I love this one. It's a really cool background to have, even though it's in, in French. Oh, no, actually, there, it also says Hello Spring. So it's somehow a mixture, which I think is really cool as a background. Very interesting to look at. And then we have this vellum again. I mean, how cool is that? It just gives the whole, like if you imagine our card where it's all layered together, it just gives it something very special. Can't really put my words around it, <laughs> but I hope you understand what I'm saying here. So here again, a vellum. Here we have another Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't this fantastic? I love this. I mean, it just has these really cool um, kind of like dynamic going on here. It would just make a great background. Then we have this, like a pattern. Here you could cut out these strips. Also really nice. And then we have something with sentiments, like do what you love, small steps every day. Could be happy birthday to you, enjoy. So lots of different options here for like different um, themes for cards. Very cool. Then we have this one. Again, really cool on the back. Something else for you to cut out. This on the back. And then some other pattern. And then this, this is so beautiful. So I recommend if you're on Instagram to check out Chow or Chu and Flowers and see all these things that they have on there because they um, actually they provide a lot of inspiration. So I have to say some companies are fantastic. Others, they kind of expect that you just buy the product because it looks so beautiful, but then it's up to you. But they have so much inspiration and I think these looks, you don't see them that often, especially not the mixture of white paper, craft paper and vellum. So I was really blown away. Hopefully you are as well. And if this paper isn't so your thing, then maybe I can win you over with these stamps. <laughs> Although I don't know who I want to win over because let's face it, it's gorgeous. So let me start with these ones, just to tell you a little bit more about this mixed media look that's going on here. So Chow and Flowers are very good with these whimsical styles or elegant, but they have also a lot of mixed media. So if you're into art journaling or, you know, you like it a little bit more grungy, then this is also good for you. So here we have one stamp set that has all these different options here, as you can see, like different numbers and little um, scribbles here, little dots, these kind of really cool and funky stamps. So that's really good. This one also, especially this one is really cool. Then these are also love, I have to say. This one and this one because this makes a really good background. So as I said here, let's start with this one. Here, I love it that it gives you already this option of how it could look. So it has a stain here in the background. So that's something that probably reminds me if you like Tim Holtz and this kind of distressed look. And even though this is a very different style of company, it still somehow goes hand in hand. It can be more elegant, it can be more rustic, it can be stained, it can be distressed. Lots of different options here. And here you have this big stamp as like a background stamp. So this can give you a whole card front where you could stamp it and you could just stamp it or you could emboss it. You can stain it. So many different options here. 
and it's in French. However, I think as a background, it doesn't really matter and lots of words that you would still understand anyway, like Le Livre de la na Nature, <laughs> Nature. So, you know, you, you can still figure it out. Wanderlust, <laughs> that's what I definitely understand. That's from my language. However, yeah, as I said, you have this background for so many different things. I love it. And then we have something similar, also not as big as this one, I say. So this is a little bit smaller. However, still really good as a background or for like a mixed media journal or something like that. So again, you have 25th of December. So it could be Christmas orientated because it's from the little circus line as well. They have something with Christmas in here, but not too Christmas Christmas. <laughs> so it's not your typical green and red Christmas card. So again, very mixed media with this one. Then these ones, as I said on the paper, if you recognize those, they have these border stamps and basically made the paper with that. So if you want an easy way, you could just get the paper or you could make your own interesting backgrounds with these strips. So this is what that looks on the back. And as you can see, they fill a lot of paper quite quickly or you could just stamp them and then cut them and then layer them somehow on top of you know different projects because if i turn it like this and you can see all these different um like little tickets that are going on here so you have this little stamp with a bird you have this ticket party then this cool free entry with a flower so lots of stuff that's going on here definitely very good for so many different designs and then you have this one also very cool and let's speak about some of these more whimsical ones so if you're not into this grungy mixed media look then maybe you're interested more in this so beautiful whimsical stuff i just think it's amazing so here you have this um like a girl with those hair and nature and earth i suppose it's from the line dawn la lune and i think it's so pretty really gorgeous stamp and also quite big so it would make a nice frontal or like a focus point for a card or it could also go into an art journal then i think this is also adorable this girl who flies away on on a bunch of flowers with butterflies i say it's really nice as an inspiration of how you could color your projects then i love this one so beautiful so this is again from dawn la lune and it has some whimsical romantic style to it that's what it looks from the back again it's a really nice background very big oh, i just love this so much it's gorgeous and then we have again something really cute here with a girl who paints her own rainbow like for if you have somebody in your family who likes to paint who's a bit of an artist i think this is very dreamy so gorgeous and now one of my favorites is actually one of those little stamps and it's this guy it's this elephant and the hot air balloon isn't this so cute I love that. And again, it gives you the idea how you could just easily have some distressed background and then you could just stamp this one and color it in and then put it onto this distressed background. And this way you don't really have to think too deeply about a card because sometimes we get a little bit um, yeah, paralyzed by looking at just a stamp and thinking, okay, yeah, that's cute, but now I have to do this you know, painting on the background and have to be this artist, but you don't really have to be. Here you just get a really good example of what it could be. And it's so beautiful. I just love it. Same here. I love these old cameras and the whole idea of travel or there is a paper by Minte, which is called Mama Razzi that would fit well to this as well. I love anything and everything camera themed. Really, really nice. Then we have these clear stamps. 
like this little bear so cute and this is also very dreamy we have this girl that reads a book here's a book very very romantic set i have to say here it's a little bit more abstract we have this flower and then again a bit more of a mixed media vibe and i love this one the girl and she has these flowers here in her hair and last but not least we have those little cutie pies and it's so cute and yeah let me know if you have any questions you can contact me sandy at messypapercrafts.com if there's anything else where you need inspiration or if i should open anything else if you need another closer look of any of these and with that stay messy stay crafty and i see you soon